Good afternoon and welcome back to Exploring Women Artists via Facebook. Um, today we're going to be talking about Elizabeth Catlett. Um, she was an African American artist um, born in Washington, D.C. in 1915. Um, both of her parents were the children of freed slaves, so a lot of Catlett's work focused on um, themes surrounding social injustice um, and the human condition um, and sort of racism in America and um, the relationship between a mother and a child. She did a lot of work surrounding um, with, a, with a mother and a child. She did a lot of her sculptures surrounding that, that relationship. Um, so she was born in Washington, D.C. in 1915. Um, she attended Howard University, which is a historically black um, university. She studied at Howard University, but she went around. Um, she lived in a lot of different places across the U.S. At, some, at one point, she lived in Mexico. She got Mexican citizenship. Um, she also did art classes and lived in Chicago and New Orleans and after she met her husband she moved to New York City um, and after she graduated from Howard University she um, taught a lot of art classes across the country um, so Elizabeth Catlett worked in a lot of different mediums um, but she mostly worked in printmaking um, and sculpting um, she worked a lot in linen cuts, which for those of you who don't know what that is, um, it's a form of printmaking where you get this material, a linen cut, and you carve into it with a, with a carving tool and you make your design, and then you paint over it and you press it onto, it can be paper or wood. Um, so a lot of her work was done that way. Um, and that turns out something like this. So this is the final product of a lot of the carvings and the lino cuts that she made. Um, as you can see, um, this, this painting is called Sharecropper. This is um, on the handout that I will be linking in the description today for anybody to color in. Um, so as you can see, it looks a little bit streaky. That's because of the cuts that you make into the lino cut. Um, and I also printed out a picture of you, for you guys to kind of understand better what a lino cut is. So this is the material that I'm talking about. You carve into it and you make your designs, um, and then you paint over it and, um, press it onto wood or paper or whatever material you are using. So this... Um, creates things like this um, again this is what you guys are going to be coloring in today I also wanted to show you another example of the um, linen cuts that she made um, again I said she focused a lot on social injustice so a lot of her prints are um, about social inequality and racism in America so before um, the 1960s and into the 1960s, there were a lot of um, racial, there was a lot of segregation in the United States. So she created a colored only scene on a bus. Um, so I wanted to show you some of her prints, which is what you guys are going to be focusing on today for the actual project. I also wanted to show you um, one of the mother and child sculptures that she made. She, was, she also did a lot in sculpting. She worked a lot with wood. Um, and this is the mother and child relationship that she focused on a lot, which I was mentioning earlier. Um, so I just wanted to show you some of her work. And today I have a handout that McKenna made. So thank you, McKenna. Um, Elizabeth Catlett has a little bit of information about her. Um, right here is a picture of what she looks like. So feel free to color that in however you like. And next to it is... Um, a handout of Sharecropper, the image that I showed you earlier, this one. Um, and if you didn't notice, I colored, I started coloring it in myself and I wanted to show you how I was doing that and give you an idea of 
um, what I was expecting from this handout. So as you can see in the print, it looks streaky, like she's using a lot of lines and that's because of the, um, that's because of the, the, the way the printmaking works. But today I thought that we could sort of imitate this um, effect that you get from creating prints by using hatching. Um, hatching is a form of drawing using only lines. So you use the lines and um, uh, you, you can also cross hatch, which means that you have lines going in different directions to create shading. Um, I can show you an example of that on here. Just gotta grab my marker. So this is hatching when you draw a bunch of lines close to each other and you use this instead of, you know, regular drawing, which is more like this. And cross hatching is when you make lines going in different directions to create shading. So it can go like that, it can go like that. So that is cross hatching. Um, and this is hatching. So today to create a similar effect as she created with her prints, um, I thought that you could color in at least sharecropper using, this is sharecropper, using hatching. And um, I've already kind of started it. I wanted to show you guys how it looked. So as you can see, um, I used lines to color her face and her um, and her shirt. And I'm not, I haven't done the hat yet. I wanted to show you how to do that on the live. Um, so what I have been doing is kind of creating lines hatching and then deciding looking using the printout of the sharecropper image that I have using that to determine where I'm going to use cross hatching to create um, the effect of shading so light and dark so as you can see I made a lot of lines here and if you can see in the printout um, there, it's uh, darker up here, so I'm gonna use cross hatching up here and on this side to create the look of um, a shadow. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Just gonna finish up with my hatching here so that I can show you how to do cross hatching. So um, to create the look of a shadow, you're gonna create lines going in a different direction like this and you're going to use that in all the areas that you want it to be darker so as you can see um, the cross hatching that I've done down here um, makes it look darker and um, creates the effect of a shadow um, as I was trying to do up here so I thought that would be fun to use hatching and cross hatching to um, create a similar looking effect on the handout um so this you can also color it in however you like but i thought to get more of a sense of her style um to do it with cross hatching so it looks sort of similar that was my intention to make it look similar um and you can do that with the portrait of Elizabeth Catlett or you can color it in however you like you can also color both of these in however you like but again um, gives you more of a uh, a similar effect with the cross hatching compared to the print um so I hope you guys enjoy I will add a link to the handout that you can print um and color it in however you like. Um, I will link it in the description of this video. And I hope you all enjoy and I hope you share using hashtag loveartsphereinc on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. Um, and tune in next Wednesday for the next class on Walt Disney's favorite artist. So thank you, have a good weekend, and everybody stay safe.